You want to repurpose an iPod? iPod Classic, whatever the fuck it is, the hard drive based one. Or the flash one, you could do it either way. Use Linux. I'm currently running Linux Mint and uh, or Ubuntu, whatever you want to call it, and I'm gonna do this. Pretty fucking straightforward. You connect it. It gets mounted. That's a storage volume. I'll just drop the cord there. As you can see the screen on here, it is mounted because I previously formatted it. It shows the capacity. 72.7 gigabytes, but I renamed it incorrectly because, you know, it's whatever it's detected. Now, hold on a second. Let's just unmount the drive. Now, what we're going to do with this thing is it's syncing in progress. It's actually not going to fucking sync at all. We are going to uh, do something else. We're probably going to get errors on this, obviously. Oh, it worked. Next to the hard drive is basically will not turn back on. I don't give a fuck. You can turn it on. And now we're going to basically. It was originally with HMS Plus. So let's uh, start this over, right? You don't need to. Unless you run Linux on your Mac, you select Mac. But I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Apply. Now that you basically wiped your partition off your iPod, create a new one. Let's say if you use Linux, but you actually want to be able to tell how much free space is on this little bastard, you can use HFS Plus. But if you don't care, select EXT4. So you're obviously, you don't want to leave in space remaining. You want to basically, this overrides a bit of a glitch. You just put one extra, click Add, C, let's give it a label. There we are. Click apply. This is basically no nonsense. Yes, no nonsense doing this. You basically wipe the freaking partition straight off of it. And uh, once you've done this, it will no doubt prepare it for use as a USB hard drive. Because that's what it has inside there anyway. And uh, that's done. Now, we close it off. Now, the moment you basically eject the disk, which I'm going to minimize this thing for a reason. Just move the shit out of the way. There we are. Okay, uh, it won't show up in the file manager until you actually launch it yourself. And there we go. Launch it just like that. Now you want to customize everything for the permissions. You want to change this to make sure you can actually access it. But you know the only way to do that, right? That way. Gosh, media. Nope, it's not mounted there. Ah, right here. You know what you do it here? Permissions. Nobody. No group. Anyone. Anyone. Any content? Whoops. Anyone. All three like that. Click OK. Yes, done. Now anyone can actually access this disk once it's plugged in to any Linux machine. Because remember, Apple devices cannot read, or Apple, you know, it cannot read Linux partitions, which is pathetic. But that's what you basically done. Now, as when you go back to the iPod, I cannot unmount it because, you know, ah, that's why. To eject it. Now, go back to the iPod now. Okay to disconnect, right? Watch. It will reboot. Obviously. And when it does, it will not show any space free. Because you know what you did? You basically went against all Apple odds. 
in order to get rid of that. And he eradicated it. And now it shows up because I left it plugged in as a file. Basically a hard drive. Which you're basically seeing right here. So every time you unplug it, it will reboot. So let's just unplug it anyway. And there it is. It's going to reboot again, obviously. That's just how Apple devices are when you do that. But now it won't be recognized by iTunes no more. But who the fuck uses that anyway? You just drag and drop these days, right? Of course. Yeah, obviously you gotta set it up. So, I will just simply hit the center button. And it's all set. Just like that. Except, uh, here's the only problem. You're running to this. Unless, there is another way. Now, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to plug it back in again. And I'm just going to basically change the partition around. Fuck off. Okay. Do, 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 do. First, I got to basically unmount it. Let's unmount it. That revolves. Oh, gets rid of all the problems with uh, Departer because it will ask you to unmount the drive again. You don't want to keep doing that. Let's format it for HFS Plus. There we are. Apply. Yes. Done. Now, when you eject it, it will show the space is free. Obviously, you're going to. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I have to basically install that program. Okay, whatever. That's not a problem. Cannot detect file system. Obviously, I need to install that, so. New tab. There we are. Oh, it already is. Weird. I guess it's just a glitch of departed then. Anyways, it's all done. Just ignore all that shit. And... Yeah. Now, I'm going to copy some files to it. Afterwards. But, in all regards, it will show the space. Now, let's close this. And... Let's... It's got name to untitled, but whatever. We need to do the same thing again, so... Okay... What the fuck? I closed the, uh... That was silly. Okay... Gosh, I love this terminal. Okay... Media... There we are... Okay... You know, you're going to want to basically make the changes. No body, no group. And obviously you want to change this to anyone. That way you have complete access. Now, when you reopen that, you can basically copy files to it. But anyways, I'm going to reject this thing. And... Oops, I forgot to switch it to that thing, whatever. Now it's going to disconnect. It'll reboot. I'm just going to eject it anyway. And that's it. Thanks for watching. That's how you turn it into a USB storage device. And the best part about it, it will show how much space is free. And you obviously got to set it up every time, so I'm just going to hit... Oh. Yep, yeah, okay. Done. And it's all set. There you are. Shows. Obviously shows no music. So you zoom down to the bottom. Just want up the setup. It still shows no kilobytes free. Oh, there you go. It's weird. The way Apple does it with their shit, you got to set that up on iTunes for it to show the space. Obviously, I thought it was actually going to show the free space, but apparently, no, it didn't. So... That's a disappointment, but hey, 
It'll work on Apple devices. You can just use it as a USB external hard drive. Anyways, that's it. Now I'm going to use that as an external drive to put Linux on. Yeah.